We're going to be diving into the top six restaurant marketing trends in 2021. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a profitable restaurant. The first marketing trend that you should jump on is TikTok. Now, TikTok is here to stay for sure because it's not something that is only for, you know, the 12 year old kids doing dances and stuff like that. No, in 2020, there are financial tips, there are strategies, there are mindset. A lot of different businesses and industries are already jumping in and on to TikTok. So if you want to market for your restaurant, definitely TikTok is the way to go moving forward. So we decided to start our business during the pandemic. We spent our life savings and prayed for the best. And because of TikTok, this is how it went. Why is that the case? It is because you don't need a lot of followers for you to blow up on TikTok. Their algorithm is so wild. That means as long as you have good content, appealing content, interesting content that people are watching, then majority of the time you will get found and they will feature you because that's how their algorithm grows because they want to feature new content creators. So make sure that you guys jump onto the TikTok trend and really allow it to change the direction of your restaurant. Second part of restaurant marketing trends in 2021 is to show your values. This is something that I always preach in my ACE formula. Align with your values so then that way you can find your tribe. Connect with your loyal fans so they buy from you again and again. And then lastly, explode. Explode in revenue so then that way you can be financially free. To learn more about this framework so then that way you can have the tool to create a profitable restaurant, definitely check out the free masterclass over an hour of value packed class specifically done for you in the link below. Definitely go and check it out. Now, why is it important to show your values? Because what happened in 2020? We see BLM movement. We see the political unrest. We see all these crazy things that are happening out there. And that's the reason why more and more people are choosing to dine at restaurants that have shared values with them. According to a study done by Accenture, more than 41% of the people that got interviewed said that what the values that the restaurants have would directly impact their purchasing decision. And more than 21% of those people said that if the values don't align with them, they will not shop and dine at those restaurants. And that just shows you how much showing your values would affect your business. On the other hand, restaurants that shows their value, that has that deep connection with their customers, shows a very high uplift in the consumer rate of the restaurant. And that's the reason why you should definitely show your values. Don't be afraid to tell your customers what is your stand, because either way, you're gonna be able to attract your loyal fans. We're not trying to attract everyone. We're trying to attract the people that will buy from you again and again. And according to Yelp, searches for black owned businesses have skyrocketed more than 6,500% on Yelp. And on top of that, woman owned business, they shot up by 114%. Now, what does this mean? That means that if and when you're willing to take a stand on what you value and what you stand for, it will work in your favor and you will be able to nurture a much deeper connection with your customers. So in that way, once again, they're gonna buy from you again and again. Third restaurant marketing trend to follow in 2021 is once again, online ordering and curbside pickup. This is not gonna go away and make sure that you double down on this whole experience, making sure that it's easy for people to order for curbside pickup. Make sure you have this updated on your website, on your social media, your Instagram, Google reviews, Google My Business, all these different platforms because more and more people are searching for your restaurants and how to dine at your restaurants online. Less people are walking by now and that's the reason why having delivery as an option, having curbside pickup as an option and easily accessible, easily people can place orders on your website, on Instagram is so key in your restaurant business in 2021. Just imagine when someone wants to dine at your restaurant and they go on your website and they're trying to order for pickup 
and they cannot find that button. What's gonna happen is that they're gonna find it confusing and they're just gonna go to another website, another restaurant where they can actually order. Your job is to make this whole experience frictionless so then that way you get that order. If you guys enjoyed this video and find value in this video, make sure you guys smash the like button and let me know this is the type of content that you enjoy. Now back to regular programming. The fourth restaurant marketing tip for you is hygiene. Hygiene is not just how you execute it, but also the perception of your hygiene. It is super crucial. According to Yelp Diner Survey, consumers are extremely, extremely cautious about three areas when they come in to dine. First, it is whether they are seated in a shared table. When you're in a shared family style table, they don't like it. Second, Laminate menus, they do not like menus that are being handed to many different peoples. They're extremely cautious about that. And lastly, whether they're being seated right behind other people. These are the three things that people are extremely cautious about. And according to that study, more than 67% of people would not come and dine at your restaurant if they don't feel safe. More than two thirds of the people out there what does that mean? That means that you have potential to gain a lot more customers if you have proper hygiene protocols and if you can show other people your hygiene practices either online or at that location. Some examples of how you can show your hygiene online would be on your Instagram, on your Google reviews. Showcase to people the practice that you have employed. Showcase to them and tell them that now we have contactless menu. There's a scan QR menu that I've always been talking about for the last half a year already. Showcase to them how you prepare your food. Showcase to them what your staff protocols are. These are all areas where you can showcase on your social media to give another stamp of approval and confidence for your consumer to come and dine at your restaurant. The fifth restaurant marketing trend in 2021 is online reputation marketing. What does that mean? I've been saying this over and over and over again. What you have to say about yourself has literally no weight in comparison to what other people have to say about your restaurant. What does that mean? That means reviews are a thing. Making sure you focus on your Yelp reviews and your Google reviews are so, so important. According to a report by Bright Local, more than 87% of the consumers check out your online reviews before deciding to dine in in your restaurant. And that's up a lot from 2019. So what does that mean? That means that people truly do care and they do stalk you before dining in your restaurant and it does affect how much money you put in your pocket. Another report by UC Berkeley, what do they say? They say that just a half star review rating affects your online bookings at 7 p.m. by more than 30 to 40%. That means that if you have 4.5 stars instead of four stars, you're gonna get 30% more bookings at your restaurant, and that means direct dollars in your pockets. That can easily translate to more than hundreds, if not thousands of dollars every single month for your restaurant. That means you should always focus on user-generated reviews all the time. And if you want more information on how are you gonna get these reviews, check out the video right here. The sixth and final restaurant marketing trend in 2021 is collaboration. What is collaboration? It is when two different parties work together to promote one thing. And why is this really important and very popular right now? It is because people crave for this. They're craving for new things to talk about, new things to see, novel ideas. And at the same time, you can actually cross pollinate. You get the exposure of your partner's followers, and vice versa, and that's how you can grow together. For example, McDonald's actually reached out to one of the more popular, relevant rapper stars, Travis Scott, to actually do a collaboration in September of 2020. This campaign was so successful. Their sales forecast for McDonald's going from 1.4% for the third quarter to 3%, and a big part of that is because of the Travis Scott meal and collaboration. Yes. And that's a very good collaboration because both followers get to be exposed in this collaboration. 
Another example for you is when Dunkin Donuts partnered up with Charlie, one of the highest paying TikTok stars out there. Once again, this is a prime example of what a collaboration looked like. Now locally, what I've seen are chefs partnering up with chocolatiers, creating a new products. Bakery partnering up with deli shops, creating a new product. At the end of the day, these different parties might seem very far-fetched, but as long as the values align, that's when you can cr get creative and create something that is very magical and your consumers would enjoy that. So for you out there that have your own restaurant or thinking about creating your own food restaurant, then you can collaborate with different bakeries, different influencers, as long as your values align and as long as it is, it is a win-win situation. That's when a collaboration does its trick. So there you go, friends, the six marketing trends in 2021 that you should definitely look out for and use and execute for your restaurant. So then that way you get more sales. Ultimately, these are the things that will get you more profits. Now, if you want to learn more about the framework that I mentioned, the ACE formula, align, connect, and then explode in revenue, you can definitely join our free training in the link below. Definitely check it out. And if you want to learn more about us, follow us on our newest podcast, Unscripted with Wilson. Now, I'll see you guys in the next video.